Reading is titled Safely Ashore, and it was written by Patricia Raven. In Papua New Guinea, the Condus tribe awaited with excitement the arrival of New Testament Bibles printed in their language. To reach the village, however, the people bringing the books had to travel on the ocean in small boats. What gave them courage to travel across great waters? Their seafaring skills, yes, but they also knew who created the seas. He's the one who guides each of us across our life's churning waves and deepest waters. As David wrote in Psalm 139, Where can I go from your spirit? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. These words would resonate deeply with the Kandas, who live on an island nation whose tropical coasts, dense rainforests, and rugged mountains have been called the last unknown. Yet, as believers there and everywhere know, no place or problem is too remote for God. Even the darkness will not be dark to you, says Psalm 139, verse 12, and the night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. On stormy waters, therefore, our God speaks, Peace be still, and the waves and wind obey. So don't fear life's deep or turbulent waters today. Our God safely leads us ashore. <music> 